Hey guys, producer Mr. Mig here from MaxBeats.com. I'm here today with a quick tutorial for how to make a reverse reverb. That's right, the effect that happens in some songs that you hear before the vocal starts, you have a reverse vocal kind of sweeping in. I'm gonna show you how to make that quickly and easily. Stay tuned. All right, hey guys, here we are inside Logic Pro X, and we're actually in the session of my new song, Invincible, that's being released on April 30th on 418 Music. We can talk about that later. I'm using this because it's my vocal, obviously. I don't have to get permission from somebody else to use their vocals. I thought it would be the easiest way to do this, and at the same time, you get to hear one of my songs. You know, people don't know that I can sing. You do now. Hopefully you think I can, um, and I'm not beating, uh, you know, a dead dog or something. But anyway, so this is this is such an easy tutorial. It should take a few minutes. So here's, here we go. I'm gonna play uh, the first verse, just the first line, and I'm gonna show you how we take the first word and we make this really awesome ghost-like reverse reverb. I see the sunlight in your eyes. I watch the moon go down. All right, so anyway, um, that's the first line of the song. What I want to do is I want to take this, this, I see the sunlight, right here. I see the sunlight in and, I, and I want to make a reverse reverb kind of coming into that, anticipating. It's almost like a ghost-like effect. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. And I made a little cut right here at the beginning of the phrase. So let me solo this out. I see the sunlight. I see the sunlight. All right, so here we go. Um, the waveform is a little low. I actually recorded this on a USB mic here at home, not even at my studio. I just, I, on a whim, I had to record this song, and it ended up coming out really great. And um, it's coming out, coming out on the label, and uh, people are really liking it. So anyway, um, I didn't get the, the best signal. I didn't do it in you know, my studio studio with, you know, with uh, my, my booth and everything. But I'll even show you in another video how you can record at home and get expert results without a booth. Okay. So anyway, I chopped up this first, um, the, I see the I. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take that piece. I see the sun. sun, sun, sun and we're going to, we're going to duplicate this track. We're going to make a new track with the same settings for the vocals. And I'm going to take this chopped piece in the beginning and I'm going to drag and copy it to this next track. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is go over here. So let me label this real quick. Lead original, right? Lead original. And then this is the reverse. Sorry, trackpad gets me sometimes. Snippet, okay. So on the reverse snippet, what I want to do is I want to open up a um, a reverb. And what we need to do is I'm going to go here and open chroma verb, mono to stereo. It's fine. doesn't even matter if it's mono to mono. It'll just create a different effect. But anyway, I'm going to take the um, dry signal down, and we're going to give it 100% wet effect. Okay? So now all you're going to hear is reverb. You're going to hear the reverb of that little snippet, not the actual snippet itself. Check it out. All right, so that's the start of it. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the decay of the reverb and we're going to make it really long. Let's just say anywhere from five to ten seconds just so we have an extra tail. So check it out. Now, here's what I don't want. I hear the S from the word C. I see. I want to get rid of that. So let me just do a little trimming here. Let's pull this back and let's see what we have. Oh, still too much. It's probably right around here. It's such a short little piece. All right, that's good. So it's like, ah. Uh, all right. So the phrase is, ah, see. So what we're going to do is, we are going to bounce down this snippet with all this reverb and everything, the tail of it. We're going to let it go as long as it wants to go. So what I do is I 
select this piece right here. I hit Control B, which is bounce in place. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna select include the audio tail in file, include the audio tail in the region, okay? And you can just set, select leave, you can leave everything or mute it out. It's gonna make a new piece with the effect written into it. Include volume pan automation. We're not automating, there's no normalizing, leave it exactly how it is. Up here you can write, um, you know, uh, reverse, re reverse snippet, okay? And hit okay, and we wait until it's done. Okay, so it just finished. Let's solo it out, and here's what, here's what we have. This is a new audio file, okay, based off of the little snippet piece that we took, adding the, the long reverb tail with a completely wet signal. Just let it ring out. Okay, we can manipulate this later for the perfect timing going into the actual vocal. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take that piece, right? Because it's not reversed yet. This is easy. Just double click it in Logic Pro X. Go down to the file option here and hit functions. Now we're going to hit the reverse option. And just wait, okay? It should reverse already. It should be done. Listen. Here we go. That's it. Let's close that out. We're now going to connect that to the beginning of the vocal. We have to do a little bit of timing work here, but that's easy stuff, man. It's just, you know, just listen to how you want it to sound. So let's say, let's say that we have, um, here's the lead vocal starting right here. Right here. And this is the reverse snippet. We're now just going to drag it. We're going to drag it out in front. Zoom out a little bit. Start right about here and listen. Listen to both of them. Now, what I want to do is I want to play it with the track and everything, because I need to time that. Sounds pretty good. I mean, you could, like I said, you can move that around to taste. But that's pretty much it. You can do that with vocals. You can do that with a piano. You could do that with any sound. If you do it with a piano, which I'll show you in another, another tutorial, how to kind of work it with instruments, how to chop up things and reverse them and do some really cool effects um, by writing, writing everything to audio files and then kind of manually chopping and moving. But it's really cool, really cool effect to do with a piano too. Just play a piano chord, hold it out, put a lot of reverb on the duplicate track with the same piece. Reverse the duplicate after you bounce in place and write the sound in and write the reverb in to the file Move it back in front and you have the same effect. All right guys, that's it If you like this tutorial, please give a like subscribe. I want to hear your comments. Stay tuned. I'll be back. Talk to you soon. Peace out